I'm Jenny Barnett Roars, and my blog is Craft Test Dummies, where I test out different craft products and report to the rest of the world. But I'm also a mom with two kids, and this is a jellyfish craft that I did with my kids. They're 13 and 9, and we really like to work craft with recycled materials. Frankly, it's garbage. But it's garbage that's pretty and shiny, and you can make something like this out of objects that might otherwise go into the landfill. So it's really simple. All you have to do is gather your materials. And for this, I use some leftover basket wrap from Easter time, or sometimes you can get it in uh, shopping bags, some bubble wrap, some leftover wire or chenille stems. You're going to need a styrofoam ball, some paint if you like, of course a paintbrush, glass head pins really help with this project, uh, a serrated knife, a little plastic one, and um, a knitting needle. Oh, and some coffee filters, but those shouldn't be used probably. Get those fresh. So we're gonna start off by cutting our styrofoam ball in half. And if you've never done this, a really fun way to do it is to use a rubber band around the ball and then take your little plastic knife and just use it as a guide. It's really crunchy and frankly kind of messy. So if you like, use a manila folder or a little piece of paper to kind of catch all the frags. When you're done cutting, it's gonna look like this. And notice that it's really uneven and not very pretty and doesn't really look much like a jellyfish, so we're gonna sand it. The cool thing about styrofoam is that styrofoam sands itself. So just by rubbing around and around, you're gonna get a nice smooth uh, area there. And then to give it that jellyfish cap look, we're just going to kind of gently buff the edges and round them out. That's also actually going to concave the other one as well. It's going to kind of hollow it out for you. So that only takes a few minutes. It does make quite a spectacular mess. But then what you're left with is a piece that looks like this. So slightly hollow on the inside, rounded on the outside. Now, you can use this just as it is, or if you like, you can go ahead and paint it. And I love a little bit of sparkly paint. And this is another thing that I like to do with my kids. It's super easy. You just put a little paint in and you just dab it in the holes and cover it. Now, you're gonna wanna let that dry all the way. And then what we'll do is take this and cover it with our basket wrap. You just put it down in the middle, like so, and put it upside down and then use that knitting needle to poke right through the middle. So then what you'll do is go ahead and take all your little scraps of bubble wrap and curling ribbon, whatever you have that you wanna use up and take your chenille strum and just wrap it around the outside like this. Now we'll go ahead, poke it up through the top and the chenille stem will come right up through. You don't even need a separate tool for that. Then, frankly, we're almost done. Another little chenille stem and a cut up coffee filter. Just cut it up in a spiral and a few straight pins and you are almost ready to go. Let me just show you how you take that, fold it in half and use one of those nice little glass head pins to finish it up. Put a few more on to fill it out and you've got your jellyfish ready to swim away.